Hi, I'm Gary from Gary's Wine and Marketplace, here today to share with you some of our tips on how to taste wine and how to evaluate wine. The first thing we try to do is get a sterile environment. Not so easy, but you want a white tablecloth, something nice and easy. You don't want a lot of flowers around, a lot of aromas. Here we're going to taste a Cabernet. So the first thing you, you want to do to evaluate the Cabernet is you need to, to look at the color. You're looking for clarity. You're looking to make sure there's no flaws in it. The next thing we do is you got to smell. That's where my nose comes in handy. You really get in there. Get your face in there and let's smell the wine. You get the bouquet. You get the floral smell to it. It really tells you a lot about the wine. You get so much more out of the wine from smelling than you do out of tasting the wine. But as we know, tasting is the most fun. For us, when we evaluate wine, we evaluate a lot of wine. It's very important to do the spitting thing. Sorry, but we had to do it. And after you taste the wine, now we're thinking about the palate. What's on the palate? The first thing you would taste is sweetness. This is a Cabernet. It should have no sweetness. Sweetness is something right on the center of your tongue. Then what I'm looking for is I'm looking really for balance, the balance between acidity, tannin, the level of flavor. What I'm getting here is I'm getting a well-balanced, medium-bodied wine with a very good finish. The tannins go through, last a, a long time, but not too long, but it's really well-balanced, and that to me is very important. The last thing we do in evaluating wine is, is it worth it? How much is the wine? Is it a $5 wine, a $50 wine? And make sure that the quality of the wine meets the cost that we're going to have to sell it for. And that's what we do. Thanks for sharing this with me. I'm Gary from Gary's Wine and Marketplace.